Elvis Kristen of the Oosterhout Free Library. Do you like bugs? Do you have a favorite bug? Do you think that bugs can be beautiful? Well, I do. There's just so many different types of unique and special bugs with their own beautiful skills. Some bugs can have bright colors like ladybugs or butterflies, while others can blend in with their surroundings like stick bugs. Some bugs can buzz from flower to flower, while others crawl on the ground. Some can fly backwards really, really fast, and others crawl really, really slow. Each bug is different but unique. And today we're going to celebrate some unique and beautiful creatures with a story. You'll learn a few cool facts, and you'll learn how to make your own unique beautiful collage like this. The story I'm going to share with you today is called If Only. Now, have you ever wondered what it would be like if you had wings like a butterfly and could fly away? Well, the animals in this story wonder what it would be like if they were a different type of animal. So while you're listening to the story, see if you observe anything unique about the bugs and the illustrations or pictures in the story. So let's get started with If Only. If Only, written and illustrated by Mies Van Oot, published by Pajama Press. The child thought, if only I were a butterfly, then I could fly everywhere. The butterfly thought, if only I were a stick insect, then I wouldn't stand out so much. The stick insect thought, if only I were a whirligig beetle, then I could swirl across the water. The whirligig beetle thought, if only I were a firefly, then I'd never be scared of the dark. The firefly thought, if only I were a bee, then I'd always have friends to help me. The bee thought, if only I were a spider, then I could do everything myself. The spider thought, if only I were a ladybug, then everyone would think I'm adorable. The ladybug thought, if only I were an ant, then I'd be strong and tough. The ant thought, if only I were a snail, then I wouldn't be this busy. The snail thought, if only I were a grasshopper, then I could jump over things. The grasshopper thought, if only I were a dragonfly, then Everyone would stop to watch me go by. The dragonfly thought, If only I were a child, then I could run, jump, laugh, play hide and seek, count, build houses, and so much more. The end. Let's take a closer look at some of the creatures featured in this story. Butterflies need warm muscles to fly, so they often sit on sunny rocks or leaves with their wings spread out. Stick insects are named for their clever camouflage. Their thin brown, black, or green bodies look just like the sticks they perch on. Whirligig beetles got their name because they swim in fast circles on the surface of the water. 
Fireflies flash their lights in certain patterns to find a mate. Bees may live in big hives like honeybees, in smaller nests like bumblebees, or alone like mason bees. Some spiders use webs to catch their prey. Others might jump on their prey from behind or even chase it down. Ladybugs are cute, but their babies are not. These long, black, scaly-looking larvae are helpful garden defenders that eat pests. An ant can carry objects from 10 to 50 times its own weight. Some snails, which are not insects, live in water, but they cannot swim. They crawl on a trail of mucus, just like land snails. Grasshoppers use their big back legs like catapults to launch themselves into the air. Dragonflies have some fancy tricks. They can fly upside down or backwards and can turn a full circle in the air. They also eat mosquitoes. What I liked about the story was that each creature was different and unique with their own special talent, which makes them beautiful. Just like people, we're all different and unique with our own special talents. What I also liked about the book are the beautiful illustrations by Mies Van Oot, who is the author and the illustrator. That means she wrote the story and she did the beautiful pictures. Now, observation is an important scientific skill. Did you notice anything about the illustrations or the pictures in the book? Does it look like she drew the illustrations with something like marker or something else? Now, if you look closely at the illustrations, you can see that they are made of different pieces of paper. And that style of art is called collage. And what that is, is that you take different bits of paper and cut it into different shapes and then glue it onto another piece of paper to make a new unique picture. This is what she did to make this book. And this is what we're going to do today. We're going to make our own collage. Now in the book, the illustrator shares how she made the illustrations for the book by painting colors on wet pieces of paper, letting it dry, then cutting it up into the shapes that she wanted and then gluing it to a piece of paper. I'll include her directions in the description box below. She also suggested using colored scraps of paper or cutting up pieces of magazine to make a collage. But today, I'm going to show you how you, you can make your own collage that you don't need to paint or find colored paper or even magazines to cut up. All you're going to need are some pieces of blank paper, some crayons, scissors, and of course, glue. That's all you're going to need, and your imagination, of course. So first, I want you to think about what kind of bug you might want to create. Maybe it's your favorite bug, or maybe it's a bug that you wish you could be more like, maybe you wish you could hop like a grasshopper or fly like a butterfly. Now, pick what you want to create and then make an observation about it. You might want to go outside to find the bug to see what it looks like, or you might want to look it up online, look at a picture of it. So I decided to make a butterfly. So I found a picture of an orange butterfly and it's called a fiery skipper. That's what I chose to make. Now, if you look really closely at this picture of the orange butterfly, you might see that it's more than just one kind of orange color in it. Maybe you see some bits of yellow or red, and that's what we're going to do today. We're going to take a blank piece of paper. Here's the fun part. 
we're going to color the piece of paper. So I started with some orange and I just scribbled all on the piece of paper right here, all right here. So I've scribbled up in here. Now, this is the fun part. It's not like a coloring sheet. You don't have to color in every single thing because you're going to look for some of the other colors like we mentioned before. So I just kind of scribbled it in like this uh, in orange and I noticed some red. So then I'm going to add some red, just like that. And I also noticed some yellow and I'm going to scribble in some yellow, just like that. And you'll find that when you do that, you'll have a different color that looks completely different than what you started with. Now, once you've done that, you can cut out the shapes that you need for your insect. So you see here, I cut, cut out a shape for the wing of my uh, butterfly. And then what I did is I went ahead and I glued it onto another piece of paper, kind of like this. And um, continue doing that for the rest of the shapes that you need for your picture, your collage. Um, so it, say you wanna make a ladybug. Well, you might wanna do the same things with different colors of red. Maybe your ladybug has a little bit of brown in it and then you can cut out the shape. And then you can cut out whatever other things that you might want on your picture. Now in my collage, I decided to put some collage grass here. You don't have to do that. I just decided to get a little fancy, but if you did, I did the same thing. I took some greens and some yellows and a little bit of blue, and then I cut it up into squares in rectangles because I found that was easier to work with. And I made a little collage background here. And then you can add any features that you might want for your um, insects to have uh, little dots. Like I, my uh, skipper, fiery skipper has some dots on it. So I added some dots. And of course, ladybugs have dots on it. You can fill it in with a crayon or a marker. And now when you've completed your beautiful, unique picture, maybe you'll be inspired to go outside and find your new favorite bug. Hope you had fun. Keep on exploring and we'll see you next time. Bye.